So this is another one of my builds. This is a Raspberry Pi time-lapse rig. What you've got is a Raspberry Pi, it's one of the uh, B Plus models and it's got a little camera here and it's mounted on this lighting rig and what it's going to do is take a picture of an object on here over a certain time. The difference here is that uh, this is a stepper motor, I'll go into that in more detail in a minute. So when it takes a picture it's actually going to take 25 pictures as this turns. Um, the lights are controlled by relays um, and everything is fed from the general purpose I.O. from the Raspberry Pi. Um, there's quite a lot of detail in the instructable. The whole system as well is powered by a PC power supply. Um, so you get the 5 volts and the 12 volts from there. Um, pictures are stored on a little USB stick and I've mounted on an extension lead so I don't interfere with the uh, Raspberry Pi when I'm pulling it out the bottom. So if I need to remove it I can just take it out here. So this is a stepper motor. I just wanted to go into a bit more detail. And you can see it's got slotted holes here and the screws on top and they're actually loose and that allows it to move. There's actually a little spring here doing the tension. So hopefully that will eliminate backlash. Uh, on the small gear you've got 28 teeth and on the big gear you've got 56 so that's a uh, 1 to 2 ratio. Uh, it's a 50 step stepper motor so for 100 steps this will rotate once. Um, you can also see the piece of wood that's used to go in the slot here and that helps to park the uh, table at the end of each photo session. Now the stepper motor is controlled by this unit here and this unit is a dual H-bridge driver based on the L298N chip. It will also do stepper motors um, and that's what it's wired to. The stepper motor actually has five wires but I haven't connected the common black wire um, and that seems to work quite nicely. There's a bearing on the bottom shaft and on the top it rests against this piece of wood which just maintains the tension. So you've got the tension of the wood and you've got the spring pulling it the other way. It seems to work quite nicely. So I'm just going to go through the program and uh, show you what it does. Um, but before I do that you may have noticed that uh, there is no keyboard, mouse or monitor. So what I've done is I've got a Wi-Fi dongle on the Raspberry Pi and on my Windows computer which is in the corner I've uh, logged into the Raspberry Pi using PuTTY and I'm going to start the program running. Um, what we will see is first of all this reversing and parking and then it will turn the lights on and take pictures. So I'm just going to do that. I've already written the command in so as soon as I do that it should start. There you go, it's uh, reversing up. It will find its slot detector and then it parks. Now we turn on the lights, nice and bright. And it's taking pictures. It steps eight steps and takes a picture. Each picture is saved in its own file. So hopefully when it comes to uh, sorting the pictures out it should be quite easy to do. It's also uh, worth noting that the uh, flower in this case is actually stuck down here to stop it falling off because the uh, stepper motor does shake quite a lot. If you're finding the uh, item is still shaking when you're taking a picture then you could always add a delay in between each step. I've actually speeded up the program so you can see what it's all about. I can see on the screen how many photos I've taken. It's nearing the end. What you'll see is it backs up. There you go, it's backed up. It's now parked and it now turns the lights off. 
Now ideally you'd want that to wait for maybe uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe even longer before it takes another set of pictures. Um, when it's turned the lights off, what I'm going to have is LED lights around the back of the uh, flower to uh, help with the growing. Uh, this is actually going to be stored in the garage so it will be dark all the time and the uh, light will be provided by the LEDs. As you can see this start the cycle again. What I'm going to do is let this run through a couple of cycles and just uh, stitch the photos together just so you can see what it does. Obviously you're not going to see a time lapse in the true fashion. The reason I haven't done it at the moment is uh, it's actually too cold to uh, do it at the moment in the garage and I'd have to put this rig in the garage otherwise my uh, darling kids will probably move it. Having said that with the uh, stepper motor parking after each series of pictures at least if it is moved during picture taking it's only going to be one set of pictures that's messed up and there you go it's parked again. So there you go that is the Raspberry Pi time-lapse rig.